пост 2017. Добрый день, дорогие друзья, мы находимся в Италии, в Милане, э, на выставке ПОСТ. Мы сейчас презентуем новую кофемолку Виктории Ордыны от компании Новой Симонели Групп Микос 2. Микос 2. Микос 2. И вот э, наш итальянский коллега и наш э, русский коллега будут э, презентовать, рассказывать что у меня есть интересного и забавного, какой функционал и что добавил по сравнению с Mitos 1. Э -э молодые люди, пожалуйста, можете начинать. Слов. Ребят, ну, короче, мы в Милане, э -э я нахожусь немного на вражеском стенде. Ну, я шучу, конечно, не на вражеском стенде, поскольку у нас нет конкуренции. И этот замечательный человек. Матео, Матео Джованнанчели, я The Little Giovanni, let's say, the Junior Giovanni. Это Junior Giovanni, и все, сейчас он проведет презентацию новой кофемолки Mythos uh, 2. Отлично. Давайте послушаем, я буду как бы переводить, это немного странно, но давайте поговорим. So guys, hello and welcome here to see the amazing second generation Mythos, Mythos 2. So mainly let's discuss of the main new feature. Now we have control of the temperature, control of the speed of the parts, and we have the new amazing gravimetric sensor also on the Mythos 2. So now you see here, we have also our wonderful touchpad. You can have uh, a look, better detail over there. So if I want to set up the temperature of the grinding chamber, I just need to touch the degrees. And you see here, I have a list of different temperatures. So you can set up 30 degrees, 35, 40, up to 60. Then... So it has cooler inside. We have also on the back, if you go on the back, you can see that we have a cooling system that is double side in comparison with the old one. And uh, each time we make a shot, the cooling system is uh, cooling down the grinder for 10 seconds. Because we always want to keep consistent the temperature inside. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. Ребят, uh, учите английский. Вот что я могу сказать, учите английский очень много специальных терминов. Но в принципе все понятно, у них новая uh, система охлаждения, uh, круче прежней, как говорится. Вот, и можно настраивать температуру жерновол. Ну, как бы в этой chamber, а, как бы там. Температуру в блоке жерновол, да, настраивается теперь. Да, есть. Зак... 
да. есть несколько, э, несколько вот, э, моментов, да, температуру можно настроить на 30, 35, 40 градусов. Э, дальше у нас что-то. 50, 55 и максимальная температура. 10 And here we have the scenarios. We can also set up different speed of the of the parts, from 400 RPM to 1,200 RPM. In addition, we can have three different setup of uh, of uh, grams of weight. We do not set up anymore the time. Now we set up the grams that we want to have into the basket. Mm -hmm. So it's much more convenient because if you say you want to have 18 grams like here and you have uh, you know it's two quarts you want to make it finer you don't need to change anymore the time mm -hmm. because the scale will always stop at 18 grams mm -hmm. so what is this? now i want to show you how it works what is, what is the sc scale no it's this one this one is the scale wow you can see here there's the holes the sensor it's inside the body of the of the meters too So we have uh, we have scales here and scales here. Now we have 100% control of the blue ratio because we know the grams going inside the basket and we know the grams going into the cup. So you have 100% control of the blue ratio. Here, this is not anymore a button like this. This is uh, a magnetic sensor that is uh, is understanding is uh, how do you say is feeling the metal so once you feel the weight of the porta filter at first is doing watch so i put it in it's staring now it takes the weight of the porta filter and it starts and you see the gram they are going up here we said 18 grams is slowing down to be more accurate and you have exact 18 grams it's not spoiling it So now it's uh, probably then if you move the table it's moving so then and here we are um, is, what is porta filter made of it's uh, stainless steel uh, yes yes and actually now we are working we are having also the The, you mean the porta filter? Yeah. This porta filter is uh, is brass coated with nanotech, and we have the new generation porta filter that is stainless steel. Uh, so it's gonna coming up soon. So now we have our wonderful. I think it's we are having an Ethiopia. No, I don't know. I don't see the bag. Your wonderful barista from Germany. She left us. Where is she? So guys, coffee served. I'm not a barista, but still I'm able to do the coffee with these two machines. So, do you want to have a look of the new parts yep. of the old collection? So we go to the other. Uh, we go to the other section. Follow us, guys. Let's go. Yep. We have a look of uh, of the new the new different parts. So, so this is the, you, you can write something. Yeah? This is a black coffee. You see, it's uh, very easy to delete. Uh, you can, uh, if you have a Panama, if you have uh, a Colombia, you can type over there what's your coffee. I don't see the the panel with the. We had it here. Ah, it's over there. It's over there. So guys, here for you. Here we have all the different kinds of parts. So maybe you cannot read. Um, so you see this one is the titanium coated 
is uh, yes the hardness is uh, it's more for uh, reducing the cutting time and the temperature then we can have uh, the red speed and then we can have also the carbon leather we can have the stainless steel and the nanotech so we have uh, one two three four five different uh, categories depending on your co on the coffee you are using guys so depending on the on the roasting profile if it's lighter or if it's uh, darker roasted so that you can differentiate so i wanted to make it more clear so maybe we can uh, put this this side So you see that each each of these boards they have uh, different properties. So the, the Nanotech one, for example, they have a coating formulation that is uh, giving to the bars the the quality not to have uh, all the residual of uh, old particles to get stuck on it. So you have. Uh, each time you have much more fresher coffee and then uh, you don't have the proliferation of bacteria. Then you have the stainless steel one, these are the, the basic one. Then we have the carbon leafer. It has uh, on the top, it has a superficial coated of uh, tungsteno. Tungsteno is in Italian tungsten, let's say in English. And it's a multi-layered and it's um, Let's say the main properties is to reduce the friction. So when you reduce the friction, you have less heat. And then we have uh, the red speed with a much longer resistance. So this one red speed might be more for um, uh, light roasted coffee that it's a bit harder to, to, to grind. crush and grind. Grind, and then we have the titanium one that is a uh, titanium nitrated based coating to prolong the working. Thank you. 